Hello, my real estate agent friends and colleagues. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to be really bold in this video and say that if you're a real estate agent working with buyers in this market and you're struggling or you've been frustrated, you're running into challenges, you need to watch this video. Uh, I have had so many real estate agents just come to me personally and just say the market is so challenging. They're burned out, really having a hard time getting offers accepted. Even the ones that are having some level of success getting offers accepted, um, it seems to be very inconsistent and it just seems to be a total battle and a struggle. And listen, you guys, I'm going to be totally transparent in the short video with all of you. The market is challenging. Uh, the market is tough. We've had a low inventory situation for a long time, record low interest rates, which is a good thing for buyers, but at the same time, the demand is so strong. We all know that the inventory just is not meeting that demand, not even close. So I'm just going to get right to the point here and just talk about um, my motivation is really strong to help other agents succeed in this business. That's how I've been able to succeed is collaboration, um, people being willing to share. So let's talk about buyer deals really quick here. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to be completely transparent with everybody. And we're going to talk about numbers really quick here. Okay. Um, if you want to look at my home snap profile, it's not a secret. Anybody can go and look at anybody's production. Um, in the last two years, I've had 55 offers accepted. That's just me personally. That doesn't include my wife, Leslie. And it's at least an additional 50 that I've been directly involved with, with the agents on our team, getting those offers accepted. So an easy, um, well over a hundred offers accepted in the last two years. Um, I just want to be totally transparent there. There's agents that have sold more than me and I'd love to learn from them. But today I want to spend a few minutes talking to you about some strategies that I know for a fact you can implement into your business today to get more of your offers accepted, because let's be honest. Do we want to write offers to lose or to win? I mean, the answer to that, ob that question is obvious, but let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm going to start with rapport. Um, the rapport that you've built with your buyers is going to make or break you in this business. And the first thing that I want to say is your initial meeting with a brand new buyer. Um, we know the, where the market's at, we're the professionals. We know that if there's 15 offers on a property, it's going to go $250,000 over asking. Um, we understand that as professionals and we're coaching our clients and for their first offer, um, they're not going to, there's going to be maybe a level of trust, not that they're not trusting you as a person, but as a professional, they're starting to dabble in writing offers and getting into the process of buying a home. And there's a learning curve. Let's just be honest. So if you coach your client to write $250,000 over and they say, I don't want to write $250,000 over, I want to write it at list price. Here's the biggest mistake I see agents make. They get frustrated, they debate the buyer, and they either tell them, don't worry about it, don't write the offer, or they're just super negative about it. That is wrong. And that is really hurting these poor clients. And quite honestly, it's hurting you as an agent because the, your clients, you're building a distrust with them as opposed to building a trust. Here's what I think you need to do. If you coach your client to write $250,000, $300,000 over the list price, and they say, I'm not comfortable with that. I want to write it at asking price. You know, the offer is not getting accepted, but here's what you need to do. You say, awesome. Let's write that offer. It's going to be a great learning experience for you. We're going to go through the entire process from A to Z, and you're going to write that offer. We joke about it within our team all the time. That is called the freebie. What does the freebie mean? You're giving it to them. You know, it's not going to get accepted. They're getting their feet wet with the process. They're seeing what it looks like to sign the offer getting their questions answered. They're seeing what it looks like to work with you and how much you care about them as their, as your client. And then they get to see the process of you submitting that offer to the listing agent. And here's where you have to follow through when they don't get that offer accepted. You must share as many details with them as possible. There were 18 offers. It went 300,000 over asking. We landed of the 18 offers. We were, you know, don't say it in a negative way. Don't discourage them, but I just want to give you valuable feedback. We were third from the bottom, according to the listing agent. So we were not even close, but you know what? I am so glad you wrote that offer. This was a great data point, a great learning experience for you to see what the market is doing. And you know what we need to do next? We need to book an appointment for tomorrow and to go look at more homes. Get them back out immediately looking at more homes, looking at more homes, looking at more homes. I can't tell you guys how many times 
our group, uh, myself, agents on our team, Leslie, whoever it is, we just, again, we keep joking about that freebie offer, getting it out there, getting past it, because the more offers you write that they miss, and the more you manage that expectation to keep their spirits high, encouraging them that I promise we're going to get you a great home. We just got to keep getting out there. We got to keep looking. We've got to educate ourselves on the options that are available, the different price points. They're going to start trusting you without a question. They're going to start seeing that you're guiding them to a process to getting them to a point where they're now becoming the winning offer. And if they're keep, if they're telling you, you know, we keep getting beat out because we just can't go that high, guess what you need to do? You got to lower the search criteria. If their max is a million three, don't show them homes at a million two fifty. You might want to start showing the homes that are priced at nine ninety nine. And so it, it doesn't matter where the home is priced at. You've got to get them searching at the at the price point where you know once it goes over, they're going to have a good shot at getting that offer accepted. So anyway, I would this may sound strange, but I want to encourage you to start writing offers that are going to get they're not going to get accepted. You know they're going to lose. I promise you, I think that's one of the biggest mistakes agents are making right now is they're starting to debate these buyers on not writing those losing offers. Write losing offers, you guys, because guess what? The more losing offers you write, it's going to put you one step closer to that winning offer. So that's that point. The second point that I want to try to make is your offer packages, a lot of them are sloppy. As a listing agent, I list a lot of properties. I get emails from agents. Um, with 15 attachments. Here's the proof of funds. Here's the lender letter. Here's the personal letter. Here's the disclosure for real estate agency relationships. Here's the RPA. I mean, it is a disaster. And as a listing agent, you know, I'm, I have to present all offers. All listing agents do. It takes me forever to even sort through the offers that I receive from some agents. That in itself paints a picture that that buyer's agent is disorganized. Um, I don't know about you on all my listings. I kindly ask that all your offers are uploaded to Disclosure IO. It's one PDF, one upload. Um, it can be multiple PDFs, but I think you guys get the point. It's a clean offer package. So agents that do that, enter all the price, the terms, the notes. It's right there. It's clean. It's neat. A cover letter. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this today, but uh, if any of you want to reach out to me directly, I will share my offer submission package with you and exactly what that looks like. And I will tell you the presentation of your offer is going to make a huge first impression on that listing agent. So that's a big one. The other thing is you want to write the listing offer. Uh, you want to write the winning offer. How many times have you reached out to the listing agent? I don't care if they said I'm busy. Um, I don't have time. What questions are you? They're short with you. Guess what? This is really an important call. I want to write the winning offer on your listing. My goal is to give you the price, the terms, and anything else as far as expectations of your seller to meet or exceed those expectations. I need a few minutes on the phone with you to help me write that winning offer. Any listing agent that's not willing to give you that time, maybe doesn't, maybe is somebody you may not want to work with in the first place. But the good news is there's a lot of great listing agents out there. You've got to just pin them down for a couple of minutes. Say, this is important. I need to get some information out of you to help me write a strong offer that I can deliver with, to you with confidence to get that offer accepted. I would encourage and challenge all of you to increase your level of communication with the listing agent. All those offers we've gotten accepted recently and several just this month, we have had a high level of communication with the listing agent, almost to the point where we're really that squeaky wheel. We don't want to annoy them. We, we like working. We appreciate our listing agent relationships that we have in the industry, but you guys need to make it crystal clear to the listing agent that you're a great agent yourself as a buyer's agent. You love writing winning offers. You're concerned about um, neat and organized offer packages that are going to wow them and their sellers offering a great price terms and anything else that may be associated with that deal. I promise you guys that are, have not elevated your communication to the listing agent. You do that one thing alone and that listing agent is going to meet with their seller and they're going to say, you know what? This particular agent, they have called me, texted me, emailed me. They've asked questions about the home inspection report. You're not annoying them, you guys. And if you are, I mean, I'm sorry, but you get all your questions answered for your client. Guess what? Your client's going to write a more aggressive offer. Why? They're more comfortable. Okay. That is going to make a massive difference in you getting those offers ex um, accepted. Um, 
Lastly, um, I'm going to leave you guys with this because I, I do want to just make myself available as an open door. Um, I love this business. I'm always available to any of you that may be watching this video that want to reach out to me directly for more help. I've got a lot of great ideas, but um, a couple things just to wrap this up. Work with your lenders to get your buyers fully underwritten, understanding the risks of removing an appraisal contingency, number one. So that they're they're more comfortable doing that because let's be honest, offers with appraisal contingencies mostly are not getting accepted now. Make those buyers talk to their lenders about that. What happens if it appraises fifty thousand or low? Walk me through that scenario. I want to know exactly what's going to happen. Um, also, make sure your buyers are fully underwritten. Okay, and include that on your cover letter. Highlight it in yellow if you need to. My buyer's fully underwritten. They've got proof of funds in 300,000 in excess of the 20% down. Be specific in your cover letter. You've got 300,000 in cash in excess of the required down payment in the unlikely event of a low appraisal. What have you just done by doing that? You've just shown the listing agent and the seller, if this deal appraises low, your client's got a huge cash cushion to make up the difference. They don't need to worry about it. The deal's going to go through. So, have your lender, the last thing here, I'm going to just end with this, have the lender call the listing agent. Again, is that one more call the listing agent's getting? Yep. You, you bet it is. And it, but again, if you've built that high level of rapport with the listing agent to write that winning offer, then your lender calls through. And again, I know some listing agents are just inundated with calls and email. I am too, I, I get it. But at the end of the day, they've got a job to do. They've got to suggest to their seller what the strongest offer is. Of the 20 offers we received, you know what? It's the one from this agent. They've called me, they've texted me, they've provided all the supporting documentation. Um, they've uploaded a clean offer package. The buyer's lender called me. They're fully pre-approved. They're fully underwritten. Um, they understand if it appraises low that there's not gonna be a problem. So you guys, I really hope this helps you. I was really compelled today to make a short video about this because I know a lot of you are struggling getting offers accepted. Is the market easy? No, but we've, we've got to be tougher than the challenges of the market in order to be successful. And you guys, I, I'm not the agent that's represented more buyers than any other agent in the East Bay. There's agents that have done more deals than me. And, and I, again, I want to learn from them too, but um, I will say very humbly, our team is crushed at getting offers accepted, you guys. And it's not luck. We have a proven system and a strategy that we are implementing that is duplicatable and consistent that is it going to win every single time? No, but I will tell you what you guys, if you implement an offer submission system, that is a total package, big picture that you, you make it a point in your business to learn and be proficient at, I promise you guys, you will get a lot more offers accepted. You're going to increase your income. You're going to increase your credibility with your clients. You're going to get more referrals. And ultimately the most important thing, which is helping people get into a home. That's why we do what we do every day. I appreciate your time, you guys. I really hope this video helps you. Hope it was valuable. My door is always open for um, a deeper conversation about any of the things I talked about today. Have a wonderful day. Take care.